Hey guys, this is Regina the Queen of Carolones, and I'm super excited today because I'm gonna be sharing tips and tricks. Well, let me just say information I believe that are gonna be valuable for you. And why am I sharing those tips? It's because I want you to be more educated. I want you to be that educated buyer. I want you, when you go look for a new or used vehicle, I want you equipped to buy that new vehicle or that used vehicle and be comfortable. You know, I don't want you to make those mistakes and then actually you learn from those mistakes. I want you to have everything ready to go. You know when you go plan a vacation or you plan a trip and you get your luggage together. You think about how many days you're gonna be traveling, how much money you're gonna spend on your vacation, and you get everything together. This is what I want you to do when it comes to getting into a vehicle. I want you to be equipped for the next level for it doesn't matter where you live in the United States, that you're gonna be able to buy that used car or buy that new vehicle. So let me just go ahead and get started. Did you know that the average monthly payment on a brand new car is $716 a month? That's a lot of money, but you gotta think about it. In today's time, because of inflation, we're paying more for groceries, we're paying more for gas. I can remember back in the day when gas was $1.99. Now we're sitting on almost, what, $4 for gas? And it really depends on what state you live in? Well, listen, when inflation happens, it happens all across the board, whether it's the groceries, the gas, or your paycheck, right? <laughs> Our paycheck is not inflated, but everything else is. Or it can come to buying clothes, whether you're buying those brand new pair of shoes that you wanna buy, or if you're even going to the thrift shop, Salvation Army. You know, things at the Salvation Army cost more now too. Or if you're going to get that outfit for the weekend, or you might even, even be getting married. And you probably said, you know what? When I first started thinking about getting married, I priced a wedding dress, and that wedding dress, this just said was $2,000 for an example. But now, two years later, you're ready to marry your, your groom, and that actual same dress is now double the price. It's $4,000 or even $4,500. And you're like, why didn't I get married two years ago? Or if you're thinking about, you know what, my wedding was gonna, they gave me a price on a wedding two years ago, but now it's two years later and I'm gonna pay more. Well, that's what you gotta think about when it comes to getting that vehicle. Everything costs more. Again, I said your average car payment is $716 a month, but the average payment on a used car is $526 a month. And think about this, people purchase 60.5 vehicles were financed in the fourth quarter in 2022. That's a lot of vehicles. Now, so what's happening is people are taking their what? They're taking their money and using it as down payment. You know, people come into the dealership right now and they say, you know what? I want to get into a vehicle zero down. But now I want you to be thinking, when you're thinking about buying a vehicle, that if you're looking to buy a new vehicle, you need to be looking to put 20% down to get into that new vehicle. Now, 20% is a lot of money. So if you're financing $20,000 or that sales price on that car is $20,000, 20% of that, that's, yes, that's a lot of money. You do the calculations. Or if you say, you know, you're looking at that $25,000 car, and you know, I'm saying you put 20% of down, do the math. But when I say put 20% down, I don't wanna scare you, but the more money you put down, it means the lower payment. So if you're gonna finance that $20,000 car and you only have 5% down, or, or you say, no, I only have 1,000, then go for it, as long as you know that you can afford that monthly payment. I'm just giving you statistics. I'm just giving you what I've been reading and just wanna make you comfortable. If you're looking for that new car, think about having down payment. Now you probably saying, Regina, how do you get the down payment? Well, <laughs> one way is you do, what do you do? You save up for that down payment. You know, now it's about preparing before that car breaks down. If you know that, you know, you wanna buy that new car in the next year, you need to be saving a little bit out of your check. How about 10% every time you get paid? 
you have that account at your local credit union and anybody that watches my video knows I'm a big fan of credit unions. I love the big banks because I belong to a big bank and I also belong to the credit unions. But you want to think about having that cushion, that savings account and putting that little bit that's coming out your check that you're putting into that account, put it into your savings account. So you can pay forward for your car. And I want you to listen to what I said. I said pay forward for that car that you want to buy. So prepare that year in advance. Now for those the ones that can't prepare a year in advance and you're two or three months in, what you want to do is when you go to that dealership and you're preparing ahead of time, you want to do what? You want to say, is there any uh, programs available to help out with down payment? Is there any down payment assistance programs available? If you don't ask, you're not going to know. Because if you're buying a car from the Queen, Regina the Queen of Car Loans, we have a program for you. Which I'm not going to tell you it on the video, but that's the reason why you got to reach out to me. Let me just go back, just go ahead and talk about a used vehicle. So if you're looking to buy that used vehicle, the average monthly payment on a used vehicle is $526. And you're probably saying, well, yeah, that's high, but I have some customers that are leaving out of paying more than that. Because remember, payment also depends on interest rate. You know, most of the time, well, let me just say this. Most dealerships, they have a website and they have a payment calculator on their website. And on the website, you can calculate the down payment that you're gonna put down or estimate what down payment you're gonna put down. And then you can put your interest rate that you think that you're gonna qualify. So that, that would tell you what your monthly payment's gonna be. Remember, on a used car, what are you gonna do? You put 10% down on that used vehicle. 10%, 20% on a new, 10% on a used. But remember this, it's all about what you have in your pocket. Because if you need to go in and you need to put zero down, you need to really think about can you afford that monthly payment. But this leads to the fact is you need to be thinking about your budget. Budget, 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 budget. Before you go shopping for a car, I should have said this in the beginning, you need to be thinking about your budget, what you can afford. Most auto loans today, the longest term that you can go out is 84 months. For 84 months, you have to be able to be approved for 84 months on that car loan. The average car loan in today's world, today's society right now, today's market is five years, 60 months. But loans are going 72 months and then they're going 84 months. 84 month loan, people take 84 month loans because what? They want that lower payment. But think about this, and I want you to think about this very closely. You know, they call me the queen, not they call me, I am the queen, Regina the queen of car loans. 80%, 90% of my customers have bruised credit. I don't like to say bad, I like to say bruised. But they leave out in those double digit interest rates. Double interest rates is 10% or higher. In Michigan, the highest interest that you can pay is 25%. But in your state, wherever you live at, interest rate could be up to 30. So honestly, you really need to find out what is the high interest rate that you have in that particular state. And then if you know what you qualify for, then you can kind of put that in that payment calculator to help you figure that payment. You're probably saying, Regina, how will I know what I qualify for when it comes to my term, whether it's gonna be five years, six years, seven years? Well, you can always get pre-approved before you go into the dealership. I advise all my customers to go to my website ReginaTheQueenOfCarLoans.com, where my inventory is on there, my new and used vehicles, about Regina's on there, and other things. I have blogs on my website, and then you have a place where you can text me, and it comes directly to my phone. But I would advise that you get pre-approved before you walk into the dealership. Why? Because it saves your time, it saves the salesperson time, and it saves dealership time. It just saves everybody time. Because to me, in today's society, you need to be thinking about time management. Who wants to be in a dealership five or six hours trying to get a car? You want to limit your time so that you can do other things. Let me just say that again. You want to limit your time when you go in a dealership and do it before. I hope that this video has helped you. It's because 
Again, I want you to be a little bit more equipped when you go into the dealership. And if you are watching this video, I want you to make sure you subscribe to my channel because you can be notified every time I drop a video. And remember, you don't want to learn from your mistakes. You want to learn before you must make your mistakes. Why? Because it's all about saving not time, but it's saving money.